It's Street Blog, the video. I'm Julian, the sidekick. What a thrill it is for me to be here. My life has been such a disappointment. And now here's your host, Dr. Dave Verhagen. Verhagen. I'm sorry, were you saying something? Ah! Hi everybody, my name is Dave Verhagen and this is Shrink Blog the video. And normally we talk about light topics that are related to entertainment and pop culture and we're going to do that today, except today's topic is a little heavier, a little more important. And it's something that's been bugging me lately. It's something I'm talking to you as an observer of popular culture, as a psychologist and also as a father. And that is the idea of showing pictures of celebrities' children. In the past, we've always respected the idea that celebrities are public figures. It's fair game to show them at the beach, at a restaurant, at a club. If someone happens to catch them on the street and snaps a picture, they can sell it to People Magazine, and it's all fair game. But we've also respected the idea that their children are not public figures. The celebrities themselves have chosen to be in the spotlight. Their children have not. And so we've kept that line, that boundary. We've not allowed pictures of kids to show up in magazines. So I think that's been a good boundary, but for whatever reason, in recent years, that boundary has kind of eroded, and magazines like People and others have realized that it's pretty popular to show pictures of kids going for a walk with the dog or in the park or Brad and Angelina's kids hanging out in the airport, or all that kind of thing. And it might sell magazines, but it's a really bad idea. And let me tell you why it's a bad idea. The first is because it really makes these kids vulnerable to being targeted or exploited by, frankly, bad people or mentally unstable people. That's a really bad thing. But the other more practical reality is that even when that doesn't happen, and it's not likely that that happens, but even when it doesn't, it really makes these kids' life adjustment more difficult. If you think about it, as a kid, you're having pictures of yourself in People magazine. Think about how your adjustment would be in school, with your peers, out in the community, and that sort of thing. Now, that's a bad idea, and it makes these kids' life more difficult. Of course, there are exceptions to that. There are some kids who have chosen to be celebrities with their parents' consent. You think of Justin Bieber. You think of um, Jaden and Willow Smith. Even Patrick Schwarzenegger, who's, I guess, 17 now, recently sent out pictures of himself at the prom with Jimmy Iovine's daughter. So those are all fair game. I'm not talking about those. I'm talking about younger children who've not made the choice to be in the public spotlight, and yet is, there are pictures of them that are, that are posted um, online and also in, in these kind of new media um, sites, and, and as well as in the traditional media. And what I'm saying is that the traditional media, People Magazine and other magazines like that, really need to go back to respecting the boundary of not showing pictures of celebrity kids. Now that's true even if the new media doesn't play by the same rules. These traditional media need to be the grown-ups and do the right thing. Now I'm not advocating some kind of boycott. I really like the Time products. I like People Magazine and Entertainment Weekly and Sports Illustrated and all that. And I'm going to continue to read them. I just want them to do the right thing. I'm not making a financial appeal. I'm really making an appeal from a moral standpoint that it's just the right thing to do this. So hear me out. People Magazine and those like you, stop showing pictures of celebrities' kids. I'm Dave Verhagen. This is Shrink Blog, and we will see you next time.